Hi, everybody. I'm going to go into detail in showing you how to create a network plan for your community if you're, you have a paid uh, doorway. And so uh, if you see the photo icon there, you're going to want to go to network settings and then there payments. And here's a pro tip, I guess you could say. You could actually um, save this URL and bookmark it, bookmark this tab. And I could bookmark it so that in my folder, FindCom here, so that I know every time that's it goes right to that plans. Just to give you a heads up, that's a good, a lot of people like hate going and navigating in that, you know, network settings and then plans or payments and then plans. But that's how you get there. Um, and then we're going to go into to, to a plan. These are all the plans that I've already created. Um, unfortunately, I know some people like want this to be cleaner and <laughs> unfortunately that's just not the case. We can't like eliminate the ones that we don't want to have anymore. They're just there, but it's a history of what I've learned over the last year <laughs> of creating plans for the money networks in FindCom here. So I'm going to create a new plan and it's going to be a network plan. So at that plus button, I just did that really fast, but, uh, the plus button here is where you find the button to create a new plan. So this section is talking about who this plan that we're creating at this moment is going to be for. And for this example, this is a network membership. So they wouldn't be already a member because it's a, they're, we're, we're creating a plan for them to become a member of the network. So it would be external audience. The only time you would pick an internal audience is if you're creating a plan for a course or a cohort or a bundle. And that is in a different section, which I will show you in another video. So right now we're doing external audience and network membership. Then here is where you would have the description of your network. Uh, and then you could decide if you're going to charge for that or if it's going to be free or if it's going to be a subscription or a one-time payment. If you do subscription, you could do a monthly, an annual, or a monthly and annual option, which I, I definitely recommend. Uh, if you do a, a subscription model that you have all, um, monthly and annual. And then here's, it says about the platforms. So uh, this is just saying that if you have a network membership, it has to be available on all three platforms. You can't just select iOS and web or Android or one or the other. You can, but typically you'd want to select all three of those. I'm not quite sure why you would want to deselect one of these things, but that might be a developer question, not for me. <laughs> Um, and then here is where you would explain what if there's a free trial um, and you can create a free trial all the way up to a year. I know I had a person ask me about, well, what if I wanted to give them one year free, but then after that they chart, you know, I charge them. And this is where you can create a plan for uh, specific people that maybe you give them one month, one year free or one month free or whatever the time frame is um, because of some other arrangement you have. Maybe they've paid you somewhere else or, you know, you're offering this like as to a few of your current clients or something like that. Um, so that's an option for you to create a plan for specifically for a, a person or a specific group of people uh, and then offer that discount or whatever that would be. And then here's the price. And we also have a new feature here with Money Networks so that you can actually put whatever price you want in. And that's not um, dependent on the $9.99 situation that we had before. That's only for iOS, or sorry, that's only for Android and on the web. Um, iOS still has the restriction of this, like everything has to end in 99 cents. So if you are selling on iOS or um, Apple devices, and you know a lot of the people that you are marketing and, or promoting your network to are on iOS devices, you'll just be cognizant of that. And you would wanna actually set up a price point that is at least matches or is above what your, um, price point is for your web or Android users. So just to make a note of that, you can edit these at any time. So if you want to go back in, you can edit them. So here's your, your name of your network. You could add additional custom images to this network if you wanted to add a custom image or just use the net network image that you set up maybe in the beginning step where we were in the other step of talking about setting up the about section. 
The sales pitch is really just talking about one short sentence. If, if you had an elevator pitch, this would be right here would be where you'd want to use it. And then benefits would be what are they going to get uh, that is going to make them want to press that buy button. All right, we will go into the next section.